Hello and welcome back. So let's prepare our, our page to add some new stuff. So what we want to add is, first of all, we want to design the login page and then we want to design the sign up page and then we're going to add our header and our footer as well. So now before we add the header and footer, we need two files uh, that will represent the head information, not the not the navigation, but just the head information. So if we come here, what I mean is you see this information in here, the top part there. So all this up to the body here, that's the head. And then the here, that's the foot. OK, so header and footer. And then we'll have the nav bar here. Alrighty then. So what I'm going to do is put a new folder inside views. So the views folder, right click and create a new folder. So say new folder and call this one includes. That way at least we have a clear indication where uh, actual files are, full pages are and included files are. So before I close this down, or we'll put this inside the head. What I want to do is add a few parameters because we want this to be responsive. I got a few complaints from uh, my previous series where the pages are not responsive. So in this, this is why I'm using Bootstrap. I want this to be responsive so you can use this on cell phones as well. So in order to add responsiveness, what we will do is go to the internet and search for viewport meta. So I just want to get the HTML meta tag or I think uh, let's try this one. There's a meta tag that I'm looking for. The thing is, uh, it's hard to remember the meta tag. I remember it, but I want you to learn how to get it yourself when you can't remember it. So you type viewport meta and let's see here. Now this is the wrong page. So let's go here. So the, the link that I'm looking at is W3 schools. So it's this one that says HTML meta tag, but you don't really have to get it from here. There's many places you can get this from. So this shows us what normally is inside the head. OK. So this is normally what's inside the head. So we're just going to copy this without the heading tags. Just copy that and let's come back here and write about uh, at the top here before we put our links. Let's paste that data. OK, so of course, the char set is important to tell it that we're using UTF-8. And let's see here. So keywords uh, for now, this is not so important. So let's remove that. Actually, no, let's let's leave that. Let's remove the author here. And the viewport, this is the important one. So viewport meta name viewport and the important part is initial scale is equal to 1.0 and width is equal to device width so what this means is it's going to force the uh, it's going to tell the device to not shrink the page or to not think that this is a desktop version but to use the mobile version so it to it will maximize the width of the uh, device so the fonts will look much better, et cetera, et cetera. I had problems before I knew that uh, this meta tag existed uh, with responsiveness. But, one, but once you add it there, it makes everything look much, much better. OK, so once we are done with this, uh, this is good enough. Oh, we did have a char set there, right? So I can remove this one. OK, great. And then one more thing we should add here is a div. So I just want to add a div here. This one will be our complete wrapper. This will wrap everything inside. Now, the reason I need this, let me put a style here, is because I want the whole website to have a minimum width. So I'm just going to say min width like so. And I will set this to 350 pixels. OK, so this means that the website cannot shrink beyond below this width right there. OK. So you can name this div, you can give it a class, but I think since we won't be referring to it anyway, 
I'll just leave it as it is. So this information from here up to there will have to go into the header. Okay, so yeah, let's cut this information out. So cut that. Let me right click on includes new file and paste this information. Save this as header dot view dot php so always add the dot view because this is how we designed our system okay if you don't like that you can remove it in the main controller then we're going to remove this as well save and then let's create a new file in the includes paste that save that and say footer dot view dot php okay so now we have our footer, we have our header. Nice. Now all we need to do is include it in our home there. So how do we include? Now keep in mind that everything you're doing is inside the controller. So if I go to the home controller here, we are pasting the view inside this function. So whatever works inside this function will also work in the view. So let me go back here to, let me copy this right here. You see that view, copy that. And I'm going to go to the home view and right at the top, I will paste that. Now I need some PHP tags. So I will do PHP, what am I doing? PHP, this view home like that, and then close that tag like so. So I'll copy this and put that here. And instead of home, because this will become recursive, let's use header. But remember that it's inside the includes folder. So I'm going to say includes slash like so. So copy that, paste it here. And then in here, I will add footer. Okay. So to know that this worked, we have to make sure that uh, if we go back to our thing, nothing changes here. So I'll refresh the page and you can see nothing changes. But if I delete that and that, save this, uh, this should change things as you can see there. Okay, so these two are working fine. Now, if we want to send data into the header, we'll have to add the data through an array on this side. So we'll see how we'll be doing that as well. Okay, so, so far, so good. This is nice. Now let's create our login page and our sign up page. Let's design those two. So let's start with our, let's just start with the login page, shall we? So I'll right click uh, on the views and new file. Now, if you want, you can put this inside the oath folder but uh, I think it's okay right here. The same way we've created includes, you can create uh, auth, but I'll leave it like this. Let's save this and say login.view.php. Save that. Okay, so just like in here, we're going to copy the header and the footer. Copy. Let's paste that here. And the inside, uh, this inside here will remain as it is so we'll leave the container fluid here but let's make another container of our own here so i'm just going to say a div here okay so we create a div and let's add a few styles here so style is equal to i want to have a width of 100% so that it can stretch and then I want to have a maximum width of uh, let's say 310 pixels like this because remember our minimum width is 350 so 310 is okay I want it to be to fit properly on the uh, mobile devices okay so with 100% max width like that and now let's add some bootstrap classes. So the first thing I want to do is put it in the center. So I'm going to use the uh, margin. So margin 
uh, dash auto like this now if I put MX like that so this is margin X so the way uh, bootstrap is set up is that the left and the right both can be summarized by X because X is in the X axis if I said MY that's the top and down so it means I'm talking about both of these now if I'm talking about only my left hand side I will say S like this MS which is uh, the M is margin so margin start so the start is this side and the other side is the end so I'll say margin end auto so it means I've put margin on this right which is the same in CSS as margin right auto but if I say MX I'm talking about this side and that side should both be auto which will force this into the center okay and then I will add another uh, class called shadow just to add some shadow and then I'll add rounded just to give it a bit of rounded corners okay so good now now that we've done that we should have something to see so I'll just type some gibberish and then come back here now the thing is we don't have a login controller so we're just going to go to the home controller and just copy everything from here create a new file paste save this file as login put a capital L there dot PHP and then I'll change this as well to login like that and just like that we have a page so here I'll change the view to login as well okay so for now if I go to my login here enter so this is what I get right there very nice so I want to have a margin at the top here so that I uh, put this somewhere a bit lower so let me go back to my login view so this container uh, or this one right here so I'll say M uh, Y oh sorry yeah actually the margin at the top uh, actually don't know what margin top is but instead of struggling with that let me just write it here so you can always do this and say margin uh, let's do that top so uh, I'm very new to bootstrap full disclosure so if I don't know a certain class eh, you can uh, you have to forgive me okay so here I'm going to say 20 pixels like that okay let's move that okay so at least we are off the top that was a little bit too low let's try 50 pixels yeah maybe we can get away with that okay so to begin with let's add our inputs here so we're going to add an input this one is of type um, email because we'll be logging in with our emails and the name is email and the placeholder is email then let's add a few classes to make it look nice so the class is form control like that form control okay so save that let's come back here and you see there's email there very nice now I need to add some padding here so that there's space between this div and these inputs so I'm just going to say p2 uh, like this there's p1 p2 p3 with different values so you can test the one you want uh, let's uh, let's try four so that we have more okay so something like this so the width is a little bit too low so let me try 340 like that okay so email and then at the top here I want to add uh, inside here let's do h3 and say login like so so this time we have login and then we have email there and then we're going to add auto focus okay like so now let's duplicate this one more time here I will put password password 
I should have changed both of these at the same time. So change the name and change the placeholder as well. Let's remove the autofocus on this one. Very nice. And then let's put a break tag and we can put a input as well here. Actually, let's just use button here like so because it always submits anyway. So we'll say login and then let's add a few classes. Let me zoom in a bit. So class here, first class is button, just to make it look like a button. And then we'll say button uh, primary, like so for a blue button. And let's refresh. And this is what you see here. Login, email, password. Very cool. And then um, I want to add a break tag between these two guys here as well. So break tag, break tag. They are too close to each other. Oops, okay, there we go. So email, password, login. Then we need some kind of logo here just to make it look nice, right? So I'm going to duplicate that and put H2 here instead and just say, we're going to call our thing my school, like so. My school. And then here we will add a, uh, an image. This image will have, the source will be, uh, so we need to use our root here. So equals root, like so, close that. And then inside root, we're going to have a file. I've added a file called uh, logo, I think it's logo two. Actually, let me go here for a second. Yeah, there's logo one and logo two. So I think I'll go with logo two. So I'm just going to rename logo one to, let's say logo three. Now these files, you will have them in, a, uh, in the link in the description, but they're just Google files. I just Googled them. So you can Google your own logo. That's entirely up to you. So change logo two to just logo. I like this one better. So we're going to use that. I will just move it into assets, I think. That would be much better. So open containing folder. And let's move the logo into assets here. Boom. Okay, the other one is now irrelevant. So you can ignore it for now. And let's come back here, close that. So here I'll say logo.png. And I will go into assets. Slash. And then here I will add a few classes. Uh, first of all, I will call uh, this class will be, let's add a rounded class. Let's also add, let me see here for a second. Okay, rounded and let's do rounded, actually let's do rounded circle so that it's complete circle. So let's see how that looks, refresh. Okay, so too big and we want to center it. So I'm just going to say here style uh, and put width. That width is going to be, let's try um, 70 pixels. Maybe that's too big, we'll see. And then on the classes, I want to do display uh, block and uh, try to center it. So I'm going to use MX Auto like that. Okay, good. Ah, great. So things are looking great. Let's increase the size of the logo though. Let's put 100 maybe, 100 pixels. And then this text right here should be in the center as well. So class, let's add text center. Okay, like that. All right then. So refresh, and there we go. So we have my school, we have login, we have email, we have password, login. So this thing you can design as you wish, you know, no limits here at all. Maybe if I put a border here for a second, let me just try uh, border. Uh, let's see, border and say border primary. Just so I can have a blue outline on it. 
Okay, there we go. So my school uh, login, email, login. So this is our login page. Everything looks good here. We are done. So in the next video, we're going to look at the sign up page. Now, keep in mind that this bootstrap we are using changes over time. So keep that in mind. So if you're watching this in the future and you find that a class I have used here does not work anymore, do not be fiery. Just copy that class and take it to uh, the internet and figure it out. So let's say, for example, this M, um, for example, a long time ago, you'd say margin right and then put a... A number maybe something like that. but you can't do this anymore it's margin end instead of right so left is now start which is instead of ml it's ms and right is instead of mr it's m e which is end so if for example you say mr for like this this doesn't work anymore so you can just copy this go to your uh, browser and just say bootstrap Start with the uh, the frame uh, the framework name. So Bootstrap MR not working. Look at that. So MR2 not working, not working. So usually if a class doesn't work, just add paste that class, put Bootstrap, paste the class, and say not working at the end, and you are going to get results that will definitely help you out. So one tip there. All right. So I'll see you in the next video.